Hey everyone, let's solve this problem very quickly. Solution We have k times k times k plus k times k equals 80. And then one thing you should know is k times k times k is k to the power of 3. Then k times k is k to the power of 2 equals 80. And then if you look at 80, right? 80 can be 40 plus 40, right? But this will not work. Cannot be written in the form of this. I want to make the right hand side and the left hand side to be the same. This same 80 could have been 60 plus 20, but this will not work because 60 cannot be expressed in this form, right? So because of that, I'm going to work again. 80 can be 64 plus 16. Now 64 is 4 to the power of 3. 16 is 4 to the power of 2. So that means this is going to work. So my k to the power of 3 plus k to the power of 2 is going to be 64 plus 16. And now k to the power of 3 plus k to the power of 2 will be equal to 64 here could have been 8 to the power of 2, but I need something to the power of 3. So I'll write 4 to the power of 3, then plus here we now have 4 to the power of 2. If you look at the left hand side and the right hand side, they are in the same form. So let us rearrange. I'm going to have k to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3. I've brought this to the left. Then plus I have this again. k to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. Everything here is equal to 0. Okay, so what again do I do? I have to deal with this separately and then deal with this separately. Here I have difference of two cubes and if you have a cube minus b cube this is simply a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. This is for the difference of two cubes. So our a minus b becomes k minus 4 close that up then into a squared is now k squared plus a b that would be k times 4 and is 4k then plus b squared is 4 squared and that is 16 close that up and then we go over to that we have plus this difference of two squares so i'm going to have k minus 4 into k plus 4 difference of two squares as everything equals 0. Now k minus 4 is a common factor here so it comes out. Then in this bracket I will have this left over 4k plus 6 16 this will be left over then plus this is already out here so i'm going to have this left over k plus 4 then everything equals 0 now if you go ahead from here we are going to add the terms in this bracket so we'll have our k minus 4 into k squared plus 0 because there's no nothing is squared here so k squared plus 0 will be k squared then plus 4k plus 1k that is 5k plus 16 
plus 4 will give 20. Then we equate to 0. Now, we are having two terms multiplied to get 0. So it is either one of them is 0, right? One of them has to be 0. So k minus 4 is 0 or from here, k squared plus 5k plus 20 equals 0. And from here now, k is 0 plus 4 and simply our k is 4. Now, we are going back to this quadratic equation and get two more solutions. So let's go. Okay, so we will use the quadratic formula for this. And the formula is k equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So that our a is 1, b is 5, c is 20. So k now is going to be minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which will be 5 squared, then minus 4 times 1 times 20. And the whole of this will be over 2 multiplied by 1 because our a is still 1. Now, k okay, now is minus 5 plus or minus. We have the square root of 25, that is 5 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 20, that will give 80, right? Then we we'll divide by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now we subtract what we have in the under the square root sign. Our k is now, we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 will get us minus 55, right? And this is over 2. Now, there is no perfect square that is a factor of 55 apart from 1 and 1 will not make a difference if you divide you know if it goes into 55 so let's stop there our k will now be minus 5 plus or minus now because of this negative we are going to have imaginary i then we have um we're going to have 55 left over the negative is no longer there, it is out as i, and then we divide by 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution, and before I proceed, remember we got k1 before to be 4. Now we are having our k2 from here, minus 5 plus i root 55, and then we divide by 2. Then the last value now of k, k3, will now be minus 5 minus i root 55 divided by 2. So these right here are the three solutions to the equation.